Right, learners, good day and welcome to today's video. We're going to be looking at charts and everything you really need to do inside of charts. Not very difficult. We're looking at some simple examples um, and hopefully this will put you on the right track to getting all the marks you can for your charts. So here you can see we have a typical spreadsheet. Very simple. We've just got a heading for provinces, the list of provinces. We've got a list, uh, sorry, heading for annual refuse and the tonnage over there. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to highlight whatever it is you want to turn into a chart. It's called your data series. This is the data that's been used for us to take it and turn that into a chart. We then go to the insert tab. You'll go to the chart section and then decide which chart or they'll tell you which chart. So in this case, I'm going to use a pie chart. I'm going to use a 3D pie chart. Click on it over there. And there's my chart. As simple as that. <laughs> there we go. First thing you'll notice is up here on top. I've got a design and format tab that now pops up where I can change my chart type if I want to. So I can click on there and I can actually go back and change the chart type if I want to. Um, I can also click on the different styles. Ooh, that looks nice. Okay, so there I can change the style as well. I can change the colors. But these three icons here are really what, what I'm looking at. And I'm going to focus really on the first one um, because that really has everything that you need. So these are your chart elements. So in this type of chart, this is a, and based on the data series, this is our pie chart. You can see we have three things. We've got a chart title, data labels, and a legend. So let's see what it is. That is our chart title. You can see the annual refuse uh, tons over there. That is our chart title. I can go and click in there. I can go and change a few things if I want to. Um, it is as simple as that. With the chart title, you'll see a little arrow here as well. Um, I can place the title above, I can center it, or I can use some more options. And this is where I can now begin to, you know, put a fill in place in the background of the text. I can put a border there. Um, I can add, you know, a number of different things to format my chart title. Let's go look at the next one. Next one we're dealing with is the data labels. In other words, the labels uh, that goes whether that matches up to this data over here. And you'll see when I click on there, what happens. Now, again, with this, the same thing, I've got an arrow that leads me to um, a number of options. I can center that information inside end, outside end, best fit, all this type of thing. If I go to more options, I've got a number of options here for my label as well. Now, this is important because they might ask you to convert what you see in here to percentages. If so, you need to just put a tick in percentage. And I know some of you will get a bit scared. Ah, what's happening? No, don't be scared. Relax. <laughs> so we want to get rid of the value. So we take the tick out of value. Um, and there we have our percentages. Okay. So yeah, folks, this is this is everything you can you can really do here. You can, you know, play around with the size, with the alignment, all these different things. Um, you can see I can change the fill and those things there as well. Whoa, no, don't want to do that. All right, the last one is our legend. Ah, and you see what happens when I click on that legend. We'll see it was those labels at the bottom, the list of provinces. All right, so this area here, this becomes my legend. And you'll see I've also got a little arrow. It says I can put it on the right hand side. I can put my legend on top. I can put it on the left. I can put it at the bottom. I've also got more options where I can add backgrounds, borders, you know, all these types of things. So you just need to know where to do that. So I'm going to close this one. Go to another example. Again, remember we highlight, insert, go to whichever chart. For this one, I'm going to use a bar chart. Let's go with a 3D column chart. Nice and big. Here we go. So I'm going to change. Oh, nice the style. Um, I'm going to go again here. And now you'll see I've got a few more items. So now we know what our chart title is. We know what our data labels are. And I, I don't want it there. Well, okay, let's let's change that again. See, I can put in a number of things here. Um, okay, I think let me let me just leave that up. Then we're going to go to data table and you'll see I can have it displayed like that again, folks. You can um, 
have it, you know, your legend with no keys, whatever the case is. Then I can put grid lines in place as well. Um, again, I can also go and, you know, play with a number of options there. And obviously I can get rid of the legend completely uh, if, I, if I so wish. Okay. But the two I want us to look at are the axes. Now you'll see if I take that tick out there and I put it back, you'll see there's information that rocked up on that side. And axis titles, if I put the tick in there, there's a title over there as well. So um, this is obviously just the information that shows you, look, these things are hitting, let's say 600,000, 6 million or whatever it is. The titles, I can change the title to indicate what this group of data is and a title to indicate what it is. So here I could put, for example, provinces. And so I could put provinces. And that would obviously be the title for this section over here. The last thing I want to show you is if we want to change the background. So uh, if I right click on my chart and I go into format chart area, I can actually go and fill this with a picture. So yes, I can change the color as per normal, but I want to be a little different and I want to insert a picture. All right? They'll obviously tell you where the picture is. They'll give you everything you need to. I'm going to use this as my background. Whoa, -ho, look what that chart looks like. I'm actually more interested in the background than the chart itself. <laughs> okay, so this is all you really need to know when it comes to charts, looking at the background, changing the axis, the legend, you know, all these different things. Um, and I hope this helps you understand how to work with charts a lot better.